Jesus said in John 4, 15, 14, 15, 14, he says, you're my friend if you do whatever I command you. A friendship with the world, frankly, and you choose to trust him. And when you say it, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, I want to listen too. God doesn't approve of this. That's not a judgment, that's the word of God. Not my opinion, but the word of God. They don't want to answer your questions because you're drinking. Drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. Yeah, it is. Drunkards will not inherit. No, it's not the reason. There was a preacher there. He was preaching the Drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God, Frank. Drunkards, that's one Bible verse right there on that sign right there. First Corinthians 6, 9 10. says, do not, do not be deceived. Just because I get a beer in my hand, I'm a drunk. Have you ever been drunk? I'm sure I have. Then, then you're a drunkard. I, I've been a drunk too. I don't deserve it. Will you do? How many lies does it take to be a liar, Frank? Frank, come on now. How many lies does it take to be a liar? One, right? It depends on how many you got caught in. Caught? God's caught you in every sin, young lady. He got you there. God's caught you in every sin. God's seen everything you're doing in darkness and secret. You can't get away from that. Your sin's exposed. So I guess just because you do one thing one time, your label is that. Now, everybody sins. I don't care what they say. Everybody All sins. have sin. No, wait, I agree with you. No, now, now there. No, wait, wait, wait. You ain't gonna wake up one morning and say, I'm healed. I don't see it. It don't happen. Oh, so you can't be a new creature in Christ? It don't Christ? happen. It don't happen. It's right here. I testify. You gonna say you wake up every morning and you don't see it. I love God. You're a liar. I obey you God. No, you're the liar. You just like everybody else says. No. Sin is a choice, is it not? Oh, no. It's not Sin's a not a choice. Okay. How many donuts do you eat? How much food do you eat? Are you saying okay. I'm fat? No. I'm just saying. A sin is a sin. It don't matter what you do. If I shoot somebody sin or I what? drink. It doesn't what? matter. A sin is a sin. Oh, the Bible a also tells you that. A sin I'm is a, a sin. If I'm a glutton, you're a glutton. It don't matter. It doesn't matter if I drink. <laughs> you're not, We're not a glutton. glutton. You're not it don't glutton matter if I drink. It, it doesn't matter, matter if I kill somebody. Sure a does. sin is a sin. It, it says sure that does. in the Bible. And your too. sins separate you from God, young lady. It doesn't matter. A it sin does is a matter. sin. It's a your sin. sin separate a sin is a sin. And don't tell me you don't sin every day. Because everybody wakes up and sins. Everybody wakes up and sins. I pick up my cross daily and live right. And she doesn't well, want I'm you to live right, Frank. Let's just walk away because I'm getting upset. Why are you getting upset? You're exposed. That's why you're upset. No, because you're pissing Yes, off. your because wicked you're thinking is exposed. Everybody sins. Everybody. everybody could sin. No, not everybody could. Everybody does. Everybody has sinned. You're not going to tell me the only one that's perfect is God, and you're not God, and you're oh, not perfect. Oh, I agree. I haven't been perfect. Am I, that's you why sin I need every day like everybody else does. You mean Jesus can't give you the strength you need to overcome sin, young lady? Don't be preaching to me, honey. My I'm father was a preacher. I'm preaching to you. My father was a preacher. I know but all But you have this. even greater judgment. You don't know, know all this because you oh, contradict yes, God's do. word. No, no you're you, contradicting it because you're no, saying you don't no, sin. No, no, I'm giving you Bible verses. As obedient children, not conforming yourself to your former lust, be ye holy in your conduct. Be you holy in your conduct. You're out of your mind. You're out of mind to contradict God's word. To contradict God's word, you're out of your mind. I wasn't contradicting God, I'm contradicting you. No, no, I gave you Bible verse, Bible verse, Bible verse, and you contradict it. No. Yes. Get that on your camera. I got it. This is talking. God's recorded. You don't understand. You Hell are opens his mouth. I'm you not a joke. joke. I'm telling you the you truth. Don't wake up every day and sin too. You're a fake. You're a liar. Because you're a liar. You don't even you're know me. Liar. Don't you judge of, me. I just the only person it. that judges me is up there. You ain't got no motherfucking judge. right to judge you're me. You're gonna be eternally judged. You ain't got no right you're to judge me. You're gonna be eternally judged. Repent. Change then your mind. You don't have to judge no. me. You leave I, me the I'm hell warning you about God's judgment to come. I'm warning you about well, God's judgment about to come. Ass, not piss me off. You, you better watch your filthy mouth. Go get some soap. Go get some soap and wash your filthy mouth out. Yeah, you're a drunkard too. Not only are you a liar, you're a drunk as well. You say you're a Christian. You say you're a Christian. You're a liar and a hypocrite. Okay. And she, you're getting past the judgment you're against her. You don't even know. That she's getting to you. She's not getting to me, Frank. Yes, I'm just seeing thousands of people I talk to I just like you. You do not hypocrite, know. Hypocrite, lukewarm Christians. You know I'm you're not really you're a Christian, judgment. Frank. You need to examine yourself. I didn't you need to check myself. yourself. Oh hell no. The Bible says a godly woman is quiet. You're passing judgment. The Bible says a godly woman is quiet, Frank. The Bible says in Second Timothy or First Timothy chapter two that a godly woman is quiet.
God, and submissive to her husband. Glass glass walls. Chill out. The Bible says, according to 1 Timothy 2, that a godly woman, a godly woman is quiet, meek, and submissive to her husband. That's what God's Word says, Frank. You need to go teach your God's Word, Frank. You need to get right with yourself. You need to get right yourself with Jesus. Frank, I've heard everything you guys have said. The things that you're saying contradicts God's Word. It contradicts what He said. Repent, Frank. 